Hi everyone, my name is Christian and I'm the program coordinator at the White River Partnership and today I'm going to show you how to take a coli sample. So the first thing you want to do when you get down to the water is make sure you have all the equipment you need to take a sample. You're going to need your sampling bottle and make sure that is sealed. You're going to need your data recording sheets and a pen. So when you look at the water you want to identify a spot to sample. We want to always make sure that first of all we have a safe spot to sam sample. Safety is paramount. Once you identify a safe spot, you want to find a spot where the water is moving. We don't want to sample in a pool um, or in a slow moving area of water right at the, the margins of the, the river. So I've identified a spot today that I can find some moving water. And the last thing you want to remember when you are finding a spot is you need to make sure you can position your body correctly. When you get in the water, you want to make sure that your body is downstream from where you are sampling. So you want to hold the bottle upstream of your body. That way the water does not run by your body while you're getting a sample. So I'm going to enter the water to take a sample. So I'm positioned in the water. Once I get in the water, I'm going to take the seal off of my bottle. When you get in the water, you want to make sure that you sample as quickly as possible once the seal is off because we don't want to contaminate the bottle. So I'm going to position my body so I'm facing upstream. I'm going to take the top off the bottle and I want to sample at least eight inches under the surface of the water. If the water's shallow, I want to make sure I'm halfway between the bottom of the water and the top of the water. So I'm positioned correctly, I'll place the bottle in the water, fill it to the top. You can pour off a little bit of water so it's not overfilled, but you want to make sure that the sample goes over the 100 milliliter line. And then you want to seal it tightly, making sure you don't touch the inside of the bottle and safely exit the water. Now that the sampling is complete, you just want to confirm that you have over 100 milliliters of your water sample. We can't process the sample unless we have at least filled to this 100 milliliter mark. And the last thing you want to make sure you do is once your bottle is dry, you need to make sure you complete your data label with the date, time, turbidity, and conductivity, and then adhere this sticker onto the bottle and get it in your cooler as fast as possible, and you're all set to go.